and come back. Excuse me. Hello everyone, this is the Lion Ben C and we are playing, if it ever loads up, <laughs> we are playing Dynasty Warriors 9 for Friday Rotation. Uh, for those who are new to this, Every Friday, I play a different game. I have a list of 10 games, and I rotate through them. And... <clears throat> excuse me. And as we rotate through them, we... Uh, if any game gets three or more likes on YouTube, it is held over for another week. And so on and so forth. So far, no games have been held over, but maybe this will be the one. So we're going to go into select story. We're going to find somebody to play as. Um, now, the way are my favorite team, uh, as you can see with me having done South Sal's all the way to his passing. In fact, if I go on to South Sal, yeah, he's level 82. He, he is up there. Other characters. And this is actually my favorite character. Uh, but I haven't finished him yet. I, I need to. This is the uh, wife of Sal, of Sal P, his eldest son. We might play her. One of my favorite characters, unfortunately, they gave her a whip in this instead of her traditional weapon, which is a harp. But, yeah, this is the way, the woo, the shoe, and the gin. And then we also have uh, others. And then the DLC characters. So we got a lot to do. But uh, I think we're actually going to... We're going to say Kai uh, Winjay. And I believe I have a costume for her. So, hold on. <laughs> Why to change her costume? Her regular costume one is her uh, normal outfit that she runs around with. And then I also have a maid costume for her. And then her informal clothing is like her more relaxed. So we'll go regular costume. Let us play a beautiful melody to welcome our new future. <clears throat> if you just joined me today, er, uh, earlier I did my Rumble Roses gameplay. It's already up on YouTube if you want to watch it there. There's also a Rumble Roses uh playlist where you can go and watch all three of my rumble roses i want to say thank you to everybody who's been uh watching the videos and and liking them and everything it really really does help uh i would love to get some more followers love to get some more subscribers you know we are slowly trying to work our way to affiliate here and uh monetization on youtube not a huge rush for it 
because uh, I, ha I have a day job. But it would help out. It would just give me a little bit of spending cash. <clears throat> but yeah, so... Uh, here we go. In pursuit of total control, Cao Cao moves on Jing, capturing it in the blink of an eye and continues south. Soon, he arrives at Sun Quan's Yang province. His huge numbers practically bury the banks of the Shang'an. Faced with such a powerful enemy, Wu wavers between fighting and surrendering. Elsewhere, Liu Bei, after being driven from Jing, gains the services of the sleeping dragon, Zhuge Liang. In such tense times, what will this genius strategist suggest? Now, the strategies of Jugo Liang are about to change the fates of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei. <clears throat> now, for those who have never played Dynasty Warriors before, this is based on a time in Chinese history known as the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It is a very interesting time in history, and yes, they romanticize it. In some of the other games, they, you have characters who have weapons that, you know, they would never would have, or magic is real and stuff like that, but the games themselves, or the, the stories themselves are actually Silent very G. deep. I hear that you tended to the wounded at Wu Lin. You have my gratitude. Sai Wenji. She was the daughter of the scholar Tsai Yong and was widely known for her talent in the field of music. Once kidnapped by the nomadic Xiangnu tribe, she was rescued by Cao Cao. She felt she owed her life to Cao Cao, who was preparing for a decisive battle at Chibi. Tsai Wenji asked to accompany him to the battlefield so that his achievements could live on throughout history. Lord Cao Cao, you rescued me when I was kidnapped by the Shang Yu. I am simply doing my best to repay the debt that I owe you. In fact, do you mind if I continue to offer you my assistance in the future? If you join me, you are likely to see much pain and suffering. Do you think you can bear such a sight? That is merely the cold truth of this land. I feel it is my destiny to compose lyrics describing the pain and sadness of war for the sake of future generations. I admire your resolve and dedication. I look forward to sharing happier songs with you once I have brought the land under my rule. Yes, Lord Cao Cao. I look forward to that day with all of my heart. Now, uh, in the second chapter, you actually have to do the mission that they're talking about. If you're Cao Cao, you have to go rescue her. It's, it's one of the things, and it unlocks her for this part. Our showdown with Sun Quan draws ever closer. If anybody has any doubts... I wish to hear them now. I would like to work on improving our naval readiness. An actual battle would be best, but we don't have the time for that. I've heard that there are bands of pirates in this region. Perhaps we should deal with them so they do not interfere with our battle plans. I fear there are many soldiers who will suffer from seasickness. I am worried that we do not have enough physicians. My only concern is that the scouts sent to check out Sun Xuan's camp have yet to return. Is it possible they were captured by the enemy? The enemy features two capable strategists in Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. There is a strong possibility that they have already planned something for us. Such as false rumors, for example. Or perhaps they have sent a forged letter. As such, it is important that we seek the absolute truth in all matters. Hmm. 
Thank you for your opinions, everyone. We are currently looking to face one army while turning our back to another. Ma Tang of Liang Province continues to grow in strength while we deal with Sun Quan. There are many enemies besides Sun Quan and Liu Bei determined to stop us from uniting the land. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Everyone, I need you to quickly dispel your doubts and misgivings and prepare for this showdown that awaits us. Now, uh, Zhao Hudun is one of my favorite characters, and uh, if you know anything about his history, while in a battle, he took an arrow to the eye. That's how he lost his eye. To which he pulled it off the arrow and ate it, saying that I was born with it and I shall die with it. Uh, where is the shops? Shop should be right over here. Yeah, because I gotta make sure that I have her, her and her best gear. Okay, I don't have any of her pieces. So where's the coffee house? Ah, uh, where's the tea house? I need to get, find the coin trader. Oh, Mr. Coin Trader, where are you? There's the Stable Master where I can get my horse. There we go. Have to go over here, have to get it. Now, I have a default horse on me right now. There he is. Oh, Talk. are you a hunter? Looks like you've caught yourself an impressive quarry. I myself am not much of a hunter, but I do like to look at what others bring back. Show me what you catch and I'll reward you well. Oh, hello again. How are things with you? Oh, he's the... Uh... Not the right one. Where's the coin? Tri There's the coin collector. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. This light is a ray of hope. Whoops. Actually, did her EX. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to grab, we're going to go talk to the blacksmith and get the, Um, 
This game is different than the other ones because it's a it's very much an open world game. The map is huge. Alright, we will talk to the stable master in a second. We need to get the blacksmith first. When he rules Hey, get on in here. Come again. Now we're going to go get our horse, and then we're actually going to start doing the missions. You need a horse? These are the horses I have. The uh, Shadowrunner is South South's horse. You get it for beating his mission. So we're going to go ahead and and get that. I'll be here if you need me. And then Yeah. Okay. Now, the way this game works is as you can see, the three things they talked about are all here. Naval training, gather enemy intelligence, coping with seasickness. And if you do all three of these, you'll eat, you'll get one part each of the agility potion, so you can make get all three to actually start making it. And then that will put you into this to get the stat, the three pieces for the stallion gen, and a whole lot of rare coins. So we are gonna go with coping with seasickness first. Do I have any upgrade points? Yes, I do. Because they automatically level you up to roughly what level you should be when you get here. Uh, so let's see. We're going to add some to damage. Some to defense. Some to Mushu. Some to speed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and max out speed. Oh, I feel terrible. Too many days at sea have made me sick as a dog. Someone near here has medicine? I've heard, but I'm too sick to go look. So he wants you to go over here, and now... Now, the reason you see that arrow pointing that way is that there is a path that if I set it to, will go automatically. So it's really easy for when you want to just do a run, but you don't want to fast travel. 
You want medicine for seasickness? Try some of this then. And now none of these are really hard missions. Not right now. Later on, you will get some ridiculous missions. Yep, and that's how you level up the horses, just by riding them. They also will level up if you attack off of them. I'm not huge into fighting with horses off a of horseback, but if you're good at it... Uh, we'll get with you in a second. I need it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, you're seasick? Then I've got a better way of dealing with it than taking medicine. What you do is tie all your ships together. That'll stop them from rocking and no one gets seasick. I see. That's a good idea. Let's let everyone know and link the ships. Now, anybody who knows who this is, that's Peng Kong. He's actually a spy. You can't do anything about it, but yeah, he's a villain. That turned out very nicely. Or not a villain so much as... I shall remember your efforts. I've been placed in charge of our naval training. I don't think I'm the right man for the job, though. I heard that taking on bands of pirates can be useful training. I'm not sure if I'll be any good, but I've got to give it a shot. Hold up, it's saying there's a network error. Okay, that should have fixed it. Huh? You'll go with me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, he fights with this massive club. He's actually not a bad guy. He he's he's a really nice guy. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march. I love her. <laughs> it's you. Perfect time. Hey, everybody. These guys here are the guys we're supposed to fight.
Yeah, Ganning, the, uh, he works for uh, the Wu. He's there. Uh, Uh, I beat your, I beat your ass and like you owe me money. I think I won. This is her Mushu attack. Yeah, I'm not letting you go anywhere. <laughs> so now we have to do this one. You're in the way. <laughs> Yeah, see, you can still attack from up here, too. Try not to run over everybody. Get out the way! Move! <laughs> See, by doing these three missions before you do the, the main storyline mission, you're actually making uh, the main storyline stuff easier in the long run. are being attacked on the way back from the enemy's camp but we've got our hands full too is there no one who can help them yeah we'll go help them I come to wreck the day. Our target has been set. We will. This will give our forces the advantage. We have back to our comrades. Thank you so much. Now we can complete our duty as scouts. This will give our 
force is the advantage. We have back to our comrades. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. After obtaining just the information we needed, only to be spotted on the way back. And he's taken out. This information will be a big help. After obtaining just the information we needed, only to be spotted on the way back. Stopping until victory is ours. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. Uh, did I get them all? Is there any more? Oh, there they are. I won't die until I get back with this information. I shall illuminate our future. Here we go. I'd better fall back before things get out of hand. May this victory lead us to peace. The scouts have brought some good info back. Why don't you go talk to them? Now we have to speak with Stop Sound. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. <laughs> My horse is magical. It has teleporting powers. I wonder if Stop Sound's gonna get mad I'm riding his horse. I don't know what you're talking about. It's mine now. Whee! <gasps> but that's where I gotta go. I hear Lord Gan Ning is quite straight laced, tough on the strong, savior of the weak. It's what makes him so popular. Lord Shu Shang, then, is no different. I saw him saving a woman who was in trouble. He was a complete gentleman about it, too. I guess both of them are very cool. Men worth looking up to, even if we aren't women. <laughs> All right, that's just completely random. So, is everything ready for the battle?
make our report, and time to move on to the next piece. The bandits have been dealt with. They will not bother us during the battle. We have obtained some valuable information. It will be up to our officers whether we can utilize it in battle. It seems the men's seasickness has subsided somewhat. This should enable them to fight in the coming battle. Hmm. In that case, I shall give the men a much needed rest. We must keep their spirits high for the battle ahead. Our preparations for the upcoming battle are complete. We must take this time to rest and gain in strength and vigor for the challenge to come. All right. The Battle of Chibi. I understand the reason why, but this is still a rather strange formation. Yes. This formation is for appearance's sake only. If we had more time, we could have done something to the ships themselves. But alas, we are lacking in both preparation and training. However, we possess the overall advantage in numbers, so... I'm curious how the enemy will come at us. I do not see them attempting to attack us on the water. I give that almost no chance of happening. You say that, yet you sound as if you still have some apprehensions. If something is bothering you, you should bring it up with our Lord. No, it's not so much that I have apprehensions. I just have a general feeling of unease. The winds have grown quite strong. A cook fire was just stirred up by the winds and almost turned into a full-fledged inferno. That reminds me, Soon Chuen is downwind of us. Shouldn't we be thinking about using a fire attack against him? That would be an option if we weren't on the river. Their Navy ships are spread out, meaning a fire attack wouldn't be very effective. I see. Their navy is also well-trained. I didn't think it could be that easy. Anyway, our Lord has summoned us. Please, come with me. Very well. Let's go, Master Shunyo. This time of year, the winds along the Xiangjiang blow to the southeast from the northwest. The winds are especially strong this evening. We should be arriving at the enemy's position shortly. This is the chance we have been waiting for. We shall cross the Xiangjiang and slay Sun Quan and Liu Bei. We can overcome our disadvantage on the water through sheer numbers and superior valor. Now, follow me to victory. Ha! We shall use these northwestern winds to obliterate the enemy. Now, as you can see, we actually have a couple things to do. If I do this one, defeat Zahu Yun, 
the storehouse of 100,000 arrows actually becomes easier, and that makes the showdown at Chi B easier. And you'll see a lot of them are like this, where they have, where doing one makes others easier. See, by doing this, we'll destroy all the arrows, and therefore they won't be able to uh, do another attack. So we're going to go here. Report. Strategist Jugo Leong is acting suspiciously. Defeat him. Quickly! Yeah, that's a big one, and she's fine and defeat him. We've got tens of thousands of arrows here. These stores make us invincible. Got on the boat. Auto boating. about to come to fruition. Well, let me see. 
May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. May this victory lead us to peace. You are very skilled. It is an honor to fight alongside you. Very good. And because we've made that easier, so now we will go and make this easier. Everybody in China just kept the stores are around you. That information has been a big help. An enemy raid. They must be here for the arrows in the storehouse. Think again. I will keep this storehouse safe. Oh, I have to use fire arrows. So we go to equipment. Um, I don't have any fire arrows. Well, that's not good for the home team. So now we're going to go here. Fight alongside you. Wow! Peng Tong is amazing! I don't feel seasick at all now! Now we can fight! All thanks to Master Peng Tong! And like I said, anybody who knows history knows that he's actually lying. Yeah, that definitely helps the level up.
Technically, I could climb on that ship right now and start fighting, but not quite yet. I have other things I need to do first. And if you don't want to do this, you can fast travel in the game. I just prefer taking the long ways because it builds up the level of your horses. This shall be where we draw the line. Make preparations to defend this territory. Yeah, break through the Western Bank, which will make defeating Zuge Liang easier. And then defeat Hongai and defeat Han Dang. Oh, I have to beat the married couple. Uh, once again, uh, history, uh, Liu Bei and Sung Sheng Zhang marry in history. Lady Shang Xiang, you must not take any unnecessary risks. Cao Cao's army is not to be underestimated. Don't worry, Lord Liu Bei. I'm more than strong enough to protect everybody. <laughs> Hers. The enemy is certain to gather around me. Set up here and wait for them to come. But how could this be? There was no way we should have lost that battle. May my requiem accompany you on a journey to the afterlife. You know, you actually possess a modicum. Now, it is time. The enemy area is ours for the taking. This light is a ray of hope. May my requiem. 
Requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. It seems Ooh, I have a choice but to retreat. I wanted to stop Cao Cao's advance, but... I didn't expect you to be this good. Information suggests that Jugo Leong is doing something at the altar. Now, take defensive positions. Ah, uh, they won't let won't let you do the climb right there. Yeah, we can do it here. I am not surprised to see you. But I will not allow you to interfere with my plans. His wife should have been here too. This way, Jugaleon was defeated at the altar. What did you say? Is that true? Now we can fight without worry. What? The Jugaleon defeated? Impossible. Let's go check on him. Good. The enemy peasants are moving. Strike where they are exposed. There you are, forces of South South. The Wu main camp is right here, you mangy dogs. I'm turning this dude into a Devo song. You gotta whip it. Whip it good. It will be different. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. I'm amazed. I didn't expect you to be this good.
Break it through a door. Nope. Now that's what happened in, in history is they set fire to the ships by tricking them to string them all together so they couldn't get away. That is one thing I liked about the earlier versions of Dynasty Warriors is that you could prevent the fire attack. If you were fast enough, you could actually stop each piece. change of the wind was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack can't be then you think the enemy knew about this wind and that's why they used a fire attack Joe you no Jugo young this fire will leave a better taste Like I said, it is slightly annoying. It's one of the things I liked about the earlier ones is that you could stop all the pieces of the fire attack. I hear the strained melodies of fear and anxiety playing throughout the battlefield. This din is likely to disturb Lord Cao Cao's brilliant symphony. I cannot allow that to happen. I must save Lord Cao Cao, so that his brilliance can save this troubled land. We've lost contact with our allies. We don't know if Lord Cao Cao is alive or dead. What should we do? All hope is lost in this battle. That leaves us with only one path left to take. We must retreat to Shangyang. All I can do is try to save as many lives as possible. It is important to remain calm, even in the most desperate situations. We must work together and break through the enemy forces. And now we have a whole bunch of other stuff to do. We are going to try to do as much as possible. So we're going to... F oh. Do I want to fast travel there? Yeah, we're going to fast travel. Uh, and the reason is because... Going the traditional way would put me really close to uh, one of the missions I don't want to do yet. I am worried about our Lord's whereabouts. We can only hope that he is okay. Strategy. Just put out the fires. Master Hua 
Wong Gai's surrender seems to have been accepted without suspicion. The fire attack is a complete success. <laughs> the South Shower forces are really panicking. Like that, because I took that base, it actually makes this next mission a little bit easier. Or one of the other missions a little bit easier. I have occupied this area in the name of our forces. the injured here they may have escaped but they can't help if we could only get some medicine we would be able to save them there might be some over there though but there are lots of enemies there too I have occupied this area in the name of our forces. How dare you show your face here? I will crush you! Take it with me. What? If you want this? Then you can have it. it can we have this hey everyone this will save us now the injured can escape too thank you so much may this victory lead us to peace you performed great as always there was no need for my strategy Keep an eye on your surroundings. If you see anything suspicious, report it to Ling Tong immediately. Don't mind me. <laughs> None suspicious here. Ah, here they come. 
Quickly inform Ling Kong that the enemy is near. here. I wasn't even able to find a chance to get the message to Ling Tong. May this victory lead us to peace. We have an ambush. Just as Master Zhuge Liang anticipated, they have come this way. But they shall go no further. Zhou <laughs> Tsang, disciple of the god of war, Guan Yu. I warn you. I'm three times as strong as usual, I'm alongside the boss. Well, he got... Have performed war. Only imagine how the dead I owe Master Sao Bao has told my play. Yeah, he can't admit that I did well. It's... <laughs> Ooh, that's a level 55. That one's gonna be rough. We're gonna do it too. See, this is making the escape to Jing province a lot easier. But here's a 55. Good lord, this is gonna be rough. in our grass. To come this far only to fail. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. For all units, march! <laughs>
May this victory lead us to peace. You know, you actually possess a modicum of talent. I saved your ass. <laughs> what I really love about her attacks is her attacks combo so beautifully into each other. through here reclaim the part might have been scattered but we can't just leave them behind let me know if you find even one of our allies thank you for this i love how the voice changes because they just had different people do different voices or do different lines and they stitched them all together instead of having one guy do them all
They came in here. Where are Cao Cao's forces hiding? Better to let sleeping dogs lie. Retreat! Retreat! Okay, yeah, you're safe. You saved me. Thank you so much. We'll be waiting at the gate for you. Coming to my assistance. Now, let us meet up with the others. <laughs> if not for that damn attack, we would have beaten Zhao Cao's forces. How unlucky can you be? How? This is truly aid from heaven. You saved my life. Is this all of the soldiers who escaped? Thank you so much. You've saved our comrades. We will head out to secure our escape route. <laughs> I will not allow a single soul beyond this point. Face me, if you dare! It's important to keep moving. If we want to protect our allies, we must defeat this enemy and break through the enemy lines here. Defensive positions. It is up to us to secure the area. Everybody, follow me. I think he's stuck. Now right, here he comes. My strength has proven insufficient. Our only hope is Master Zhuge Liang's next plan. We've managed to repel the enemy for now. However, we must secure this area and continue to protect our allies. A lot of officers have fled to Hulin. How about searching for them? May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. May this victory lead us to peace. It's an 
ambush units over here. No, it's that way. There we go. I knew you'd be coming this way. Prepare yourselves. Hey, how do you know about our secret escape route? A little bit of fast travel. We can't find Lord Cao Cao anywhere. Is he moving among the men? Perhaps? May this victory lead us to peace. There's still someone who hasn't escaped at Ulin. One of the generals, I think. Do you think you could go and aid them? Doing so will surely lose troop morale. This light I'm not letting Cao Cao's army get away. They'll soon find out that my heart burns with the spirit of Uli. There is no beauty in pursuing those that have lost the will to fight. I wanted to see them go up in flames, like what happened at Chibi. It looks like it simply smoldered out instead. This should enable us to meet up with our allies. We must hurry. Victory, lead us to peace. Your skills are simply magnificent. Horses are moving sluggishly. Unfortunately, we have a long journey ahead of us. If we had food to give them, they should be able to recover. That would enable us to escape to safety. That should be enough. Let's hurry up and get it to the horses. We'll be Luckily, I already had what I needed. As soon as the horses recover, we need to hurry and meet up with our allies. That turned out very nicely. Wow, you're better than.
you got to defeat Lang Tong, Lu Ming, Ganing, and Zhu Sheng near there. All right, time to start beating the hell out of people. <laughs> Here's Ling Tong. They're attacking from there? Why is this the first I'm hearing of it? The enemy is certain. Well, that didn't go like I planned it. I guess this is what they mean when they say a rat is most dangerous when cornered. Reporting! An enemy officer has been defeated at a different gate. Our efforts in this battle have brought light to a darkened stage. We will not lose this fight, nor any other. And because you went around and you saved all these people, they'll start showing up to help. You come here to try and claim this place? Sorry. You're way too late. my guard I should be ashamed of myself for this loss may my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife very good I shall remember your efforts I hope you're prepared to face me to defend this gate. If you want to get past it, you want to go through me first. It is well known that Cao Cao's army has the advantage in land battles. However, that does not lessen the disappointment of my failure. and devote myself to my studies. Report! We've broken through the enemy lines and secured our escape route. We made it out alive. If we can hang on just a little longer, we can find a way to retaliate against the enemy. Report! We have located Lord Cao Cao. He is heading to the escape point. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. <laughs> What's so funny, Father? I thought you would be the last person to laugh at such a humiliating defeat. No, my son. Quite the opposite. We have not suffered a defeat like this since our failed attempt to assassinate Dong Zhuo. Would you agree, Sha Ho Dun? Hmm. I'd say the scale of the two incidents is ever so slightly different. Perhaps, but they share some similarities. They both cleared the way for me to proceed forward. Cao Cao. My path towards ruling the land remains intact. I shall put my life itself on the line in order to realize my ambitions. <laughs> it's hard to believe you're so positive after such a crushing defeat. I guess nobody can say you don't look to move past your mistakes. 
We are with you, my lord. We will stand by your side for as long as you seek to push forward. Spirit alone is not enough to accomplish anything. We must quickly rebuild our forces in order to regain our strength. Yes, you are right, my son. We must do everything in our power to quickly rebuild our army. And we'll be saving our current progress. The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. Cao Cao, your accomplishments have clearly outshone most of my subjects. I think it's fitting that you be appointed Duke of Wei in recognition of your outstanding achievements. I have prepared ten provinces, including Chu and Qing, that you may rule in the name of Wei. <laughs> it shall be my pleasure to accept your generosity. Cao Cao, what else is it? that your heart desires. I simply seek an end to the chaos that has befallen the land. I would be satisfied with that and that alone. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Congratulations <laughs> on being appointed Duke of Wei, my lord. Yes. Now I can look to focus on building up our strength once more. We must avenge the defeat we suffered at Chibi. My lord, I know it is too late to change anything, but I must reiterate that I do not support this move. Your path should follow that of the emperor. As soon as somebody thinks you plan to steal the throne, the land will find itself mired in war once again. Shun E, I want you to look after our administrative efforts in Shu Chung from now on. My lord, is this? I no longer have any need of your support. You should be relocated to a position that allows you to utilize your talents. Being appointed Duke of Wei then King of Wei, and ultimately Emperor. That is the quickest way for our Lord to bring an end to the chaos. However, that is merely in regards to us as a nation. If we also consider the hearts and minds of the people, then the dangers you raised are real. Our Lord's influence has already surpassed that of the Emperor. It is clear to any who see his appointment as Duke of Wei. That is exactly why we must decline it. Those who steal their way to power must acknowledge that whatever foundation they create may also be stolen by another. Maybe not now, but eventually. Although we are related, we have very different opinions on a variety of issues. I am content to follow our Lord's chosen path. However, if you feel it to be dangerous, 
You should notify our lord as such. I doubt that he will listen to me anymore. I have a feeling he no longer has any need for strategists who will not affirm the choices he makes. It matters not what people think of my talent if I do not have a ruler willing to listen to it. I have no idea how I should proceed. If you are Zhu Yu, I believe that's where his uh, story ends. His story ends not with his death, but with a quiet uh, go away from from South South. Where is this battle going to take us? I bring news. Zhou Yu has attacked Jiangling. Our defensive units on the front lines on the verge of collapse. This is a rather dire situation. Master Cao Cao was just appointed Duke of Wei. We should be celebrating now. Sun Chun. He must be trying to push us back towards the Central Plains. We cannot afford to lose Xiangling as well as Wu Lin. We must hurry to its defense. I wonder if Sun Tuen's only objective is to push us back. Certainly, they hope to build on the momentum from their victory at Chibi. However, this move is lacking in sufficient force. They must be working with someone. Hmm. I think Master Shun Yo is onto something. Sun Chuan is allied with Liu Bei, and there's Ma Tang in Liang. Zhou Yu has probably contacted one of them. The military faction in Liang province. Ma Tang participated in the plot to assassinate Cao Cao. He's likely to try and stop this coronation as well. We must maintain the defenses at Xu Chang. Which means we won't be able to send very many troops to Zhang Ling as reinforcements. Uh, just as we were trying to reform our army's ranks, too. For now, we should hurry on to Zhang Ling and aid in its defense. Please forgive my arrogance, but I am here to help. What are you doing here? I thought you were told to remain at Shu Chung. I was. I doubt our Lord will ever ask me to accompany him to the battlefield again. However, if we are to overcome this chaos, we need to get through the situation before us. If there is anything I can do to that end, I am going to do it. I understand. In that case, come along with us. You'd better think of an apology to tell Cao Cao. I don't suppose you'll have a problem with that, though. You have my gratitude, Master Sha Ho Dun. Just the way he's talking, it feels... Um, hey, can somebody let me know if uh, this is frozen on the main screen? Like it is... My stream preview uh, has been wonky. My bit rate's not great for some reason today so Shunyo, could somebody please like the enemies really got you uh, put a message and let me know if it's doing the that on your guys' end already crossed the Shengjong and collapsed our battle lines Leo Bei's army is currently invading Bashu although he has left some troops in Jing province as such 
He is most likely sending reinforcements to U. So Liu Bei continues to meddle in our affairs. I knew we should have dealt with him when we had the chance. Even if we defeat U, we're not likely to emerge victorious. I suppose we should abandon this territory and order a retreat. Yes. Considering the troops we can mobilize at present, we have no hope at victory. We should withdraw in order to minimize our losses. No, I think we should look to press the attack against U. That will lead us to victory. You have some sort of plan? Very well. We shall do as you suggest, Shun Yo. Thank you. First, we should rescue our allies that have been isolated. Once we have patched the holes along our front lines, we can launch a coordinated assault. It's a race against time to pare down the enemy forces as much as possible before Liu Bei's army can arrive. It seems Zhou Yu is commanding the Wu forces in this battle. We should defeat him! She be and drive them off. Alright, thanks, Evil Twin Zombie. Yeah, it might just be my my end. I will see that we utilize the proper tactics for the battle. I respect the enemy's undying spirit. But Jing Province belongs to U for now and forever. The twin sword user. Hey, Evil Twin, can you check it right now? Because mine says it's buffering. You. Reinforcements? Thank you. I need to let Lord Young Liao know right away. Now, I'm sorry you had to come all this way. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, see, mine's still buffering, but like I said, that's... I'm willing to bet that's the... Uh, that's just because I'm having a little bit of problems with it. But it should be okay, and when I upload it later, it should be fine. Defend it. 
Why is it that my failures always tend to stand out more than my successes? May my Requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. May this victory lead us to peace. Okay, fine. We'll go up. Excuse us. <laughs> Jumping down. As long as not buffering for you guys, I, I have like the eternal buffer on mine, unfortunately. May this victory lead us to peace. One of the close sisters! I'm glad, I am absolutely glad that they're doing okay. Uh, there's no boat over here. So we gotta do this the hard way. Yes, you can get on a boat in the water, or get on a horse in the water. That's awesome. <laughs> Now, take defensive 
positions. Across the Shang Jung. Oh, you failed us all. We've liberated the pier. Now we can use a ship. May my requiem accompany you on the journey. The afterlife. May this victory. Lead us to peace. Thank you for the reinforcements. Please let Lord Sauron know, too. You seem to be in quite the rush. What happened? Reinforcements have managed to solidify the castle's defenses. Now I can lead the charge against the enemy! Now let's go fight Ding Feng! May this victory lead us to peace. For the sake of Oo and Master Jogu, I must unleash all of my rage on the fields of Jeet Province. Hmm. Things do look bad, but I will not retreat. We must stop the enemy here, even at the cost of our lives. Defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I shall illuminate our future. The enemy's defenses are like a massive rock that easily turns aside the strongest waves. I'll admit my inability is great. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. May this victory lead us to peace. You are no ordinary fighter, now are you? Amazing! You sure know how to fight! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Thank you for these reinforcements to protect the castle. This will enable me to join the battle and lead our vanguard forward. I can't remember if he's doing all this to uh, either to prove he's indispensable to Sao Tso or to cause Sao Tso to have like a, a critical failure. May this victory lead us to peace. Sorry, but healing belongs to you. I'd appreciate it if you turned around and left quietly. It looks like the U officers have decided to stay inside the castle. We need to get those gates open. 
Where's the fun in hiding inside a castle? Why can't we go out there and fight like men? These orders come straight from Master Luma. We were fighting like men. Our guys are dropping like flies out there. Is there a way out? I'm taking matters into my own hands. Hey, wait. I said wait. Master Lu Meng said for us to is an imbecile. The enemy has watched. Thanks to the progressives. Never have a go for their gates. The, the gates are open? What's going on? The gate is open. Now, attack! I failed to carry out my orders. How can I... The old man. And now we're gonna go over here and let's do this. <laughs> now, I'm hoping to be done with to finish her story arc, but some people's story arc is very long. to our plan to divide the land in two. We cannot fall back now. I'm here with you, Zhou Yu. Go forth and unleash your passionate spirit on the... Last time I unleashed my passionate spirit, I got a ticket. Capturing that base I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Angry. So I can think of a new plan. We managed to drive them back. What is our next move, Shu Yu? I think that we should wait for a while. We should be receiving news from the West. We can't hold out any longer. Jo Yu, please forgive my failure. to push back the Wu army to the other side of the Xiongjiang. However, they'll be back once they can get more troops. We're not out of the woods yet. We have just received a report from our scouts. They have spotted an army marching on us from the west. It is being led by Guan Yu. Yuck. Of all the times for Guan Yu to show up. Our forces have been pushed to the brink of exhaustion. It will be difficult to fight another battle. We should hole up in the castle and call for reinforcements. No. Holing up in the castle will not enable us to overcome the current situation. If we remain in Xiangling, we will eventually have to hold off a pincer attack from both Liu Bei and Sun Quan. With a new enemy to the west, that is impossible. In that case, what should we do? We cannot just sit back and let them take Zhang Ling. No, we should allow Guan Yu to take Zhang Ling. If we do, there's a chance that it could lead to friction in the alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Xuan. What? Is such a thing even possible? 
This whole plan is going much too fast for me. Since the Battle of Shibi, Liu Bei strategist Zhuge Liang has been putting him in a position to eventually face Sun Chuen in battle. Therefore, they are certain to want Jing Province as a foothold towards the Central Plains. I cannot imagine that Zhuge Liang would ever give Zhang Ling to Sun Chuen. So, you want to use our current predicament to our advantage and break up the Sun Liao Alliance? Impressive, as always, Master Shun Uh. Okay, let's move to enact Shun Yo's plan. Withdraw the army to Xiong Yong and Xin Ye. If Liu Bei and Sun Xuan's alliance continues to hold up, it will put Master Cao Cao's plans in danger. However, this plot can enable us to avoid that. It is exactly what we need given the situation. Now, let us return to Xu Chong. There is one more thing I must attend to. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. You are very skilled. It is an honor to fight alongside you. All right, here we go. A lot of talking in this game, and and because they're all voiced, I just let them go. And to now turn it over to the enemy, I know this is all part of our plan, but it hurts all the same. Sao Shou, you are right to feel that way. Yet, that is also the reason that Sun Xuan and they will not think that we abandoned Jiang Ling on purpose. Shun Er's plot might just serve as the basis for our future endeavors. Hmm? I thought I heard something. My lord, watch out! Sal, Sal, brigand who seeks the throne. Your selfish arrogance ends here. So, your Batang of the Unprofits. I never expected you to launch an attack on Shu Chang. I shall ruin our future. side of this conflict shall pay by my sword of righteousness <laughs> Stand a chance against our might. The name's Madame. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, it sucks that they get this the weapon they give him because Ma die in letter and uh, games where they give him the weirder stuff fights with the calligraphy uh, brush. Wait and see! My son, Ma Chao, 
will bring vengeance upon you. My lord, are you hurt? I am fine. I'm glad you are here. You have my gratitude. And that's how you solve that problem. <laughs> uh, one of them's getting away. I'll chase him down. Let him go. Ma Tang will learn that his assassination attempt failed soon enough. They'll likely follow up by sending an army from Liang province. Ma Tang's son is the renowned warrior Ma Chao. We must prepare our army and head to Luo Yang. Yes, my lord. I shall see to it at once. See, and uh, this is auto run where they'll follow that blue line. Really good if you don't really care how long it takes you to get somewhere. And if you want to do stuff like this where you speed up these uh, I have occupied this area in the name of our forces. Now, they will have you go on a much ra more roundabout way. So if you want to go straight on the path, or if you want to get straight there, you just literally leave the path. Another thing is in this game, there is no fall damage. Oh. Now let's see what's in here. Like I said, we may not actually get done with her storyline tonight, but if this thing gets three likes on YouTube or more, it'll be uh, cycled back and we'll have a chance to play it then. I'll get another chance to play it and we'll try to get through it. Okay. And you can't Skyrim the horse.
probably a bridge around here somewhere. If I had taken the route they wanted, I would have crossed. But screw that noise. Ma Chao and his forces are on the attack. What is the situation like, Wan Yi? Ma Chao, Han Sui, and some others have taken up position at Tong Gate. We attacked them head on, but were forced to retreat. Currently, we are bolstering our defenses at Luoyang and Pubanjin. I must apologize for failing to hold off Ma Chao. No, I ought to be the one apologizing to you for being so late with the reinforcements. I know why you were unable to come, General. It is not your fault. You ensured that we received the necessary supplies, Master Shaho Yuan. I must thank you. Ah, stop. You're making me blush. We'll take care of Ma Chao. So sit back, get some rest, you hear? I cannot do that. Now that I am relieved of defending Luo Young, this is my chance to claim Ma Chao's head at last. I see. If that's how you feel, then I suppose it's all right. We are facing a mighty coalition. It would be best if we could somehow drive a wedge between them to weaken their forces. The morale of the troops in front of us is unbelievably high. It will be quite difficult to push them back. How about the north side of Tong Gate? If we could cross the Yellow River, we could strike the enemy from behind. So, we can attack head-on, or cross the river and strike from behind. Either way, it will likely prove to be a difficult battle. However, with Liu Bei currently in Shu, and Sun Xuan in Wu, we must deal with any potential threats before they become a problem. Ma Chao and his followers may have momentum on their side, but we will emerge victorious. All right, so here we go. So we're going to start here. Master Joshu seems to have a plan. It may help us get through our current predicament. Hi, I'm here to get through the gate. <laughs> now, take defensive positions. They push right by me. I suppose I am getting old. May my requiem accompany you on the journey to the afterlife. May this victory lead us to peace.
It's one of my homes. Hold on. Did I buy this one yet? Yep. So you're aiming for Tong Gate from here? Good luck with that. We have to stop the advance of the way. Well, I did it at the higher level. May this victory lead Lord Machao. They are planning to cross the river and attack our rear. N no way! There's nowhere for us to run now. Hmm. The soldiers are frightened. But I will never bow before Cao Cao. Hey man. <laughs> I figured way might bypass the Yellow River and come this way instead. I must defend Tom Gates' backside from attack. I can tell that you are no ordinary officer. However, it would not change the outcome of this encounter. <laughs> Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. I failed my duty. Forgive me, Master Machao. I have no excuse. Victory, lead us to peace. Here, it'll be a straight path to the way main camp. Here goes nothing. Curse you! How dare you launch a sneak attack on us like that? Don't think we'll go down without a fight. We shall illuminate our future. We're advancing. Everyone, follow my lead. Shall be ours. Claim it at once. I'm going to take you someplace nice. That area is too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. 
that didn't go so well. Sorry about that, young master. May this victory lead us to peace. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. That's important because it puts more stuff on the uh, map for me to find later. Jump down, and here we go. I will never allow Wei to seize Guanzhong, and I will never allow you to control this land. This light is a ray of hope. journey to the afterlife.
it's over. You'll never beat Wei, no matter how hard you try. And that solves that problem. Yeah. We may have tasted defeat here today, but I will never surrender. I have inherited my father's spirit of loyalty to the Han. You are a traitor. So I will not rest until I have your head. He remains defiant following his defeat. But the truth is that Ma Chiao's clan and the other warriors of Liang have nearly been eliminated. They will not rise again. Perfect. We could not ask for a better result from this battle. However, if you tell me you wish to pursue him, Wang Yi, I will not stop you. I know that pursuing him is a suicide mission. I saw the look of despair in his eyes. That is enough to tide me over for now. Besides, I need him to know the sense of loneliness and misery of being all alone. In that case, there is nothing left to say. Wang Li's uh, storyline is that prevented their attack on Xu Chang. Now her family was killed by Ma Chao. Our target is Wu's territory of Rushuku. This is where we claim vengeance for Chibi. I will keep fighting. <laughs> A portion of the Wu army has already crossed the Shengzheng and is advancing on Rushuku. We may be able to take Wu's base of Jianye with a concentrated attack. However, considering the enemy reinforcements heading to Jianye, as well as Liu Bei's next move after taking Bashu, we cannot afford to waste any time. Agreed. Xun Yu, I notice you have become rather perceptive since our defeat at Chibi. You are proving to be an indispensable part of our forces. We must quickly capture Rushiku and then take down Jianye. The enemy may still have some tricks left up their sleeves. Be careful out there, everyone. I shall charge into the enemy camp and cut open a path to victory! Ah! I have a feeling I'm supposed to join the effort to take down Jiang Ye. Leave our strategy to me. I want to make sure things go our way this time. We have managed to mitigate the threat posed by Liang Province. Now is our chance to repay Sun Quan for the defeat we suffered at Chibi. I think we're at a good spot. We're going to go ahead and uh, save our current progress. And we are going to call it right now. Yeah, if you could see my playtime. I have over 106 hours in this game. All right. This was uh, our game for tonight. Uh, if you liked it and you want to see more, three likes on... Uh, uh, three likes on our uh, YouTube channel will get it uh, we'll put it back into rotation um, and 
if not, next week will be a different game. Uh, what is next week's game? Let me check my master list. Next week's rotation game would be The Surge. So we will go back into playing The Surge. Have a lot of fun with that. Um, the... Uh, so... If you want to see this next week, three likes on YouTube. Or it'll be The Surge and we'll see what happens from there. Uh... Next, or tomorrow, 7 to 10, is going to be the finale of Arkham Asylum. And Sunday will be more Monster Hunter. So hopefully I'll see you guys for all that. I want to say thank you to everybody who watched this live on Twitch, who watches it later on on YouTube. Please drop a follow and a subscribe. It really does help. I am solely trying to work my way to getting a 1,000 followers and uh or 50 followers on Twitch and a thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's slow going, but I can do it with you guys' support. Want to say thank you very much. This is the Lion Ben.